This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and I want to show you how to enable a second monitor for a digital marquee in CoinOps Next 2. So we'll walk through that in this video. A majority of our cabinets now support a secondary LCD so this is a great solution for that. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description, but the first thing you're going to want to do is download Notepad++. It is free, so download and install that. In your CoinOps Next 2 folder, you will go down and see the settings.config file here, but settings.conf. Right-click that, edit with Notepad, and when it opens up, this is what it will look like. So towards the uh, top here, you'll see Marquee Enabled. This will be false, so just change that to true. Um... And then I didn't touch any of these other settings. This 1920 by 1080 worked great for me. The marquee display number. So if, if you have one selected, which is what you're going to want, whatever you have set up as your second display in Windows, that's where the marquee is going to go. Um, to show you guys here in the core folder, there's this default PNG. So it comes with the coin ops one that looks pretty nice. So you can just leave that there. Or you could overwrite that to another one that's formatted 1920 by 1080. Um, put it in there. That's the one that would show um, from the start and then if there's not one up there That's just the default one that it goes to In your collections folder This has worked for everything that I've tested it with so it's not just you know limited to MAME or something like that It worked for um, uh, Nintendo stuff and Sega or whatever so you can do this for any of them But we'll just start with our main folder here in the medium artwork uh, Create a folder called marquee all lowercase letters. That's how I did it right there I was able to take all of my marquees uh, from MAME and then convert them. I used a little batch program to convert them so they were all 1920 by 1080. If not, they didn't fill my screen like I needed them to. Uh, so I did a conversion on that and then dumped them all in here. So you can see they're named the same. They're all PNG files and they are named the same as whatever the ROM would be. So that way, as you highlight it, it'll show this. And of course, as you select it, it'll show this. Uh, so it just goes from one to the next. You can see there, so they're all in there. Uh, so it worked really well. Um, again, if I went into another collection, you'll see it doesn't really matter. So if I went into Game Boy, Medium Artwork, see, you can see the folder's not there. So I just have to create it and then dump my, dump my marquees in there. So that's it. This is really awesome. Again, considering that a majority of our cabinets now support um, a second LCD display. Uh, and coin ops is awesome. So this is this is how you turn it on and this is how you add it Make sure and like the video and visit gameroomsolutions.com